Well, they're called comeback coolers. It's an idea that started in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. And as you're about to hear, it's already made a big difference for one storm weary survivor in Louisiana. As the winds of Hurricane Ida tore through southern Louisiana, Forrest Lamone was in Homa, watching and waiting. There's a lot of destroyed homes, but we're getting a lot of help. And, and we were lucky in Homa, it could have been a lot worse for us than it was. For the last week and a half, the wind and rain has given way to hammers and chainsaws, and a lot of help from surrounding communities. Like the day Lamone was looking for food and got more than what he was searching for. These people pulled up and they said, hey, could you use a cooler? Two soldiers from Mobile. And they had this beautiful cooler all signed by the uh, kids from Robbinsdale. We just kind of put their handprints all over them, let them sign their names on it. It was really a fun experience for all of us. Softball coach Peyton Grantham says they were challenged by Orange Beach High School to pack and decorate what are called comeback coolers. They accepted the challenge, and one of the 42 ice chests they sent to Louisiana was given to Lamone. And they had water and some fruit and some, some uh, Cokes and diet, you know, a variety of drinks. And they had six beers in it. <laughs> and I rationed out those six beers over the last week, and it's been wonderful. For Lamone, it was just what he needed. He touched me. I cried. And I could cry right now. It was, it was needed, and, and the thing that... That, that, that some people had, had thought of us. An exercise in paying it forward. Doing stuff for other people like that fills you up too. It's a lesson that won't be forgotten when the next storm hits. If something happens to y'all, I hope it doesn't, but y'all live on the Gulf Coast. Y'all can count on me coming, and I'll probably be bringing a cooler. Comeback coolers have been in existence since 2016. They're active all along the Gulf Coast during any kind of a disaster. Just last year, teachers here at Robertsdale High School received coolers during Hurricane Sally, just another example of paying it forward. On the Baldwin County Beat in Robertsdale, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.